it is highly recommended to draw a diagram showing the information that we've been given and also putting on the fact that we know that perpendicular to the line of centres, the momentum is unchanged. So the I's coefficients of the momentum in this case will be unchanged. Parallel to the line of centres, we can apply conservation of the momentum and Newton's experimental law. So in this question, this will be to do with the J coefficients. In this question, we know the velocities of the obj both objects before and after the collision, so we can just apply normal conservation of momentum uh, in vector notation, and then once we've got the velocity vector, we can work out its magnitude to find the speed of b. The line of centres has to be exactly in the same direction as the impulses on either A or B. So we can work out the impulse on either A or the impulse on B by considering the change of momentum. Here we've worked out the change of momentum of A, so we can work out the impulse on A. The line of centres has to be parallel to um, this impulse vector, and therefore we can just work out a unit vector in the direction of the impulse vector.